Setting up a GraphGAN system and traveling with a GraphGAN are two different things. If you're like me, if you're going on a road trip, you want to carry your GraphGAN with you. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up your travel GraphGAN in such a way that it's easy for you to continue your project as you're on the go. All that's coming up next on Crocheting with Nyla. The way I store this is I take my blanket and I fold it over on one side and then I fold it over on, a, on another side almost like making an envelope and then I take the envelope and roll it up like this and then I take it and sit it right on top and that way my project stays nice and neat and it can travel if you like because it's already wound up now I wanted you to see my bag I love these bags I got this one from Joann's you can use any type of bag that you want whenever I work on a crochet project I always go and find all of the colors that I need for the project I do that at, before I even start I get the all the colors together and then I put all the colors in a bag just like this so you see I have all the colors that are going to be needed for this project they're all sitting in this one bag and so now that I've got the bag, I'll take the pattern, which has the yarns, the pattern, the bag, the, the scissors, and the crochet hook. I keep all of them together, zip it up, and then I put them on top of this bag. So if I want to travel with this, I just carry my bag, and I have everything I need to complete the crochet project or to continue on. This is new to me so how I'm going to do that is the same thing. I'm just going to set it on top of it and I know it's not going to, going to fit but I just kind of like set it on top even though it doesn't fit I just set it there so that I'll know that when I grab this I'm grabbing the spindles with the bobbin winder holder, with the bobbin holder, the the actual blanket itself, and the bag. So everything's sitting right here in one get go. And I just pick this up, and I have everything there. So this is how you organize your GraphGAN crochet projects. So I hope this tip has been helpful, and I hope you try it. Happy crocheting!